Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Next Gen Study and this is the part 4 of our video series on general defenses in law of torts. In the first video, mein, we have discussed on the topics of why will one need to apply general defense, voluntary non-fit injuria and plaintiff's default. In this video, we will be discussing about the topic of inevitable accident. So let's begin with what is an accident. Accident is an unexpected injury. Hoti hai. And if you have an injury, aapko ho jai, that could not have been stopped or avoided even after taking all the due care and precaution. Then we call such an accident as an inevitable accident. Now, what is defense? Kyu hai? That is because the defendant is showing that the injury is a plaintiff. Of ko, that could not have been stopped even after taking all the due precautions and also the defendant can show that uska koi intention nahi tha plaintiff ko harm karne ka the essentials for defense under inevitable accident a defendant may escape liability by showing one of the two things that is he can show that the cause of the accident and the result of that cause was inevitable or all the due care was taken to ensure no mishappening occur. That is, defendant dono me se koi ek bhi cheez prove karega, that would be sufficient for him to escape his liability. He can prove that accident jis bhi reason se hua, wo unavoidable tha. Or he can prove that he, on his part, took all the due care and precaution to ensure that kuch bhi galat na ho kisi ke saath. Now let's have a look at the cases of inevitable accidents. The first is Fadden versus Harcourt Trevington. So, in this case, the defendant was and his baby. They went to a market and they left their dog inside the car. Some time back, the dog tha, he got excited and broke back glass tod diya, and that glass went into plaintiff's eye and he had to lose his eye. Now, the plaintiff tha, he filed a suit against the defendant. As my court ne ye held kya tha, that people must guard against reasonable possibilities but they are not bound to guard against fantastic possibilities and because of inevitable accident is majo plaintiff tha uske claims ko entertain nahi kiya gaya and defendant was not held liable the next case which we'll study is stanley versus powell and this majo defendant and plaintiff they, they went for pheasant shooting now, the defendant tha, usne us bird pe fire kiya, lekin wo jo bullet nikli thi, it hit a oak tree. And oak tree se, it got reflected and hit the plaintiff. And plaintiff suffered some serious injuries. The plaintiff filed a suit and the incident was considered as an inevitable incident. Or is maybe defendant was not held liable. The next case is Assam State Corp Federation Limited vs. Srimati Anubha Sena. So, this is the premises tha, that is the house. It belonged to the plaintiff and defendant Chuthi, she was a tenant there. She noticed some faulty wirings and she requested the defendant, that is the landlord, to repair the, that portion. But the landlord did not take it seriously and failed to do so. Due to a short circuit in some time, an accidental fire spread in the house. No negligence was there from tenant's side in this case. So, in an action bought by the landlord to claim compensation for the same, court ne held ye kiya tha ki this was a case of inevitable accident or jo tenant thi, she was not liable. That is it for this video. If you liked it, then don't forget to hit the like and share button. Also, subscribe to our channel Next Gen Study. And if you want the PDF of the content which we keep uploading, then follow us on Telegram and join our channel, the link to which is given in the description box. Thank you.